Bob Davey and New Mexico got a taste of the postseason, and they're back wanting more this fall. The Lobos returned 17 starters from a team that went 7-6 and six last year. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the New Mexico Lobos. New Mexico enters the 2016 season having earned a bowl berth last December for the first time since 2007. The Lobos were in contention for a conference championship berth deep into the regular season. Bob Davies' team has improved its total wins on the season in each of the last three years, a trend the Lobos are confident can continue this fall. Maybe it gives us a chance now to throw the first punch, you know, where, where there's more confidence. Uh, we don't come out there and see how it goes. We know we can win. We're in a better place than we were a year ago, but it all comes down to winning these games. You know, we absolutely have to play the best football we've played since I've been there this year to take advantage of some momentum hopefully we've captured. Lamar Jordan is a true dual threat option for New Mexico at quarterback. The junior threw for 1,045 yards and five touchdowns while rushing for 807 yards and nine touchdowns. Although it's likely he'll split time with senior Austin Apodaca, Jordan's ability to use both his legs and his arms makes him very dangerous in the triple option attack. He loves the game of football. He goes out there and the running part of our offense, he's amazing at. I mean, he gets out there, he's very quick, he's very deceptive with where the ball is going and stuff like that. He has a good idea of how to read the triple option. I mean, even in the passing game, he throws a great ball and he knows how to read those secondary. During his time in Albuquerque, Dakota Cox has been one of the most productive defensive players in the Mountain West, having made at least 96 tackles in each of his three seasons. Cox is one of 10 returning starters from the unit that allowed 81.4 yards fewer per game last year than it did in 2014. I'm much more comfortable out there. Uh, my freshman year, I remember the first game I played in was against UTSA. And I don't think I, I think it was just blurs I saw running past me. Uh, so <laughs> it was definitely something that I, I grew into. And every year I've gotten a different mindset. And it's just now I'm more comfortable with myself, more confident in myself and my abilities. I know that I can go out there and I know the scheme. And I can just have fun with it. New Mexico opens the season by hosting South Dakota as part of three straight non-conference games to start the 2016 campaign before three straight conference contests, which includes a date with Boise State. The Lobos shocked the Broncos last season on the blue, snapping Boise State's 18-game home win streak. It was New Mexico's first victory over Boise State in seven tries. New Mexico looks to make it two in a row with a win in Albuquerque on October 7th. It's huge for our program, for the whole university itself, and just the whole environment around Albuquerque. Everyone is so excited. The fact that we get to a point where we're not just the little brother kind of getting pushed around by teams. We can go up there to Boise, a place like that, on the blue turf, and be the top tier team of the Mountain West. It is always on top and always a great team. The 2016 New Mexico Lobos are burdened by something that they haven't been burdened by in a long time, expectations. It's about respect for New Mexico football this year, and proving last season was not a fluke. One thing that's not a question is New Mexico's defense is on the rise. They returned 10 starters from last year, and the Lobo defense a season ago was finally a playmaking defense wreaking havoc in the opponent's backfield. But with expectations come a lot of extra pressure, and New Mexico will feel that for the first time in quite some time. Thank you, Robert. New Mexico opens up the season at home against the University of South Dakota on Friday, September 2nd. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.